called the Pentecostal strut. this band all right there's an opportunity here for you to help let me hear y'all say we want to help how many of you here are old enough to remember that commercial showed a little family sitting around the dinner table and daddy said mama what is this and she said it's shake and bake you're gonna have to have no hair or gray hair to remember that how many y'all remember the shake and bake commercial yeah that's right and what did the little girl say 
and I helped. Okay, y'all are gonna help. Let me hear y'all say, we wanna help. I thought you'd never say that. This is your part. Let me hear y'all say, nobody. I want you to do it twice. I want you to go, nobody, nobody. One, two, three. Nobody, nobody. Stand up. You'll be able to do it better standing. You're going to sing back. I'm going, guys, just hold on. Let me show them where that fits. I give my life, Lord, to nobody. What do you say? Again. Okay, that's your part. Hey, gentlemen. Hey, we're taking over the world right from the start. One, two, three. Again, oh, yeah, I give my life, Lord, to nobody but you. Again, because I know you're gonna love me no matter what I say or do. You know, I give my guitar, Lord, to nobody. What do you say? Again, oh, yeah, I give my guitar, Lord, to nobody but you. a little bit. Here we go. Get your heart out.
Atchison on the harp, ladies and gentlemen. You can be seated. You know, the blues, I love it. It's decidedly American. We didn't get it from the Stones. We didn't get it from the Beatles. They had to come here to get it. It was born in the cotton fields in Mississippi and Louisiana and South Georgia. It was born out of labor and heartbreak. And I love to play all styles of blues, but my favorite, look at your neighbor and say his favorite. My favorite is really slow and really loud. And that's what we're gonna do. This, by the way, is Rose. All guitars are women. This is Rose, that's turquoise. Uh, Rose is gonna sing this for you. It's an instrumental. I call it Milk and Honey, Baby. Two chords and y'all coming in on the fifth note. We're gonna sing. <laughs>
give them a hand. They did a good job on that. I'll introduce the gentleman to you, spanking the plank over here on my left. Mr. Ben Fole, give him a hand. <laughs> on drums and keeping count on all knockdowns, I might add. Back here on the drums, Mr. Joe Fowl, make him feel welcome. <laughs> and you know him, you love him, playing on the black and the white keys. And when necessary, blowing harp. David Hutchinson, ladies and gentlemen, give him a hand. We're so glad to be with you tonight making music. My experience with these guitars is they tend to play better when they're in tune. So I'm going to take the opportunity to do that here. I'm hard on them. I still remember when my dad bought me my first guitar. Went to the guitar store over here by North Lake Mall in Atlanta. How many know? Is North Lake Mall still there? <clears throat> there was a guy named Wallace Reed, Reed Music. And my dad told me I was 13. He said, You can go in here and whatever guitar you want, you can get it. And I walked in there, I looked up on the wall, and there was a Gibson Flying V guitar. And my eyes went out on stems. And I was transfixed. I just sat there and looked at it. And, and he goes, what is it? He goes, oh, that guitar. He said, that just came in today. He said, you want to hold it? I couldn't say anything. I'm just sitting there. He took it off the wall and came and handed me. Say immediately. Immediately. I felt sweat running down the backs of my legs. Kind of like right now. Sweat running right down the backs of my legs as soon as I got it in my hand. And I just went, oh, man. And from that day on, just had a love affair with the guitar. I remember the first time I saw B.B. King and all the great blues legends that I've loved so much. And that's why it's a joy to me to take that music style and use it in a way to reach people. How many of you know there were professional fishermen that fished all night and hadn't caught a thing? And then Jesus got in the boat and what did he tell him? He said, guys, cast your net on the other side of the boat. I've spent my whole musical ministry casting the net on the other side of the boat. So, so I love to be able to do that. And this next tune is an example of that. How many of you remember back in the 60s, Sam and Dave? I'm a soul man. Y'all remember Sam and Dave? Uh, and they had a tune called I Thank You. How many remember I Thank You? Had a hit with it. And then in the late 70s, there was a little old band out of Texas. Some fellows with long beards, ZZ Top. And Reverend Billy G took that tune, I thank you, and kind of turned around. And both times, when I heard Sam and Dave do it, when I heard ZZ Top do it, I thought, that needs to be sanctified. So that's what we've done. This is called, I thank you.
Give me a minute, I just want to change guitar. Love B.B. King, you know, he's an icon in American music. And as much as I loved his playing, the thing I loved the most was his voice. Nobody sounded like B.B. King. And his biggest hit was called The Thrill Is Gone. How many of y'all remember The Thrill Is Gone? Remember, I do sanctified blues. So I kind of turned around, and look at your neighbor and say, the sin is gone. Dude. 
Anderson on the key. A few years ago, I was in Raleigh, North Carolina. I'm going to tell you the story behind this tune we're getting ready to do. Uh, it, I was doing a Christmas concert, and it was, of course, in Christmas, December. And it was cold. It was snowing outside. My hotel was on about the, I don't know, third or fourth floor. And I had a window right there. And I'm looking outside. I know we don't always get snow in Georgia, but I remember when we get that snow, you can actually hear it falling. It's so wet wet snow, this is wet snow falling. And I'm looking outside my window and North Carolina, just like Georgia, it's eat up with pine trees, everywhere you look, pine trees. There's a pine tree right outside my room. And that snow's falling, it's landing in those branches. And I'm looking at that snow there and I had the guitar in my hand and this melody I'm getting ready to play for you kept going over and over in my head. So I call this tune, Snow in the Pine.
Ben Foley on the bass, give him a hand. He's doing a good job over there. Again, these guitars are uh, most handy when they're in tune, and I'm awful hard on them. We're gonna do one more for you. I was sharing with them this morning that uh, I went to my 10th high school reunion, <laughs> and I saw people there, and they said, you're a preacher. I said, man. You know, if God will forgive you, he'll forgive anybody. <laughs> I told my wife, we ought to change the name of our ministry. Instead of Kim and Susan Clout World Ministries, it should just be, God will forgive anybody. Yeah. We're proof. God will forgive anybody. And uh, 2 Corinthians 5, 17 kind of tells that story. It says, behold, if any man be in Christ, he's what? New A new creation. The old things have passed away and all things have been made new. I've kind of took my take on that in this song. Let me hear you say, I am what I am. Because I ain't what I used to be. Y'all need to put your seatbelts on on this one.
ain't what I used to be. Your time, let me hear you now. And what's up with that? I met Jesus and he showed me real liberty. I got a smile on my face, sing that. I got a smile on my face, I ain't what I used to be. Let me hear you. Let me see your teeth. Smile with your teeth. They may not be yours, but smile with them. Come on, y'all. and I'm Kim Clout. Y'all can be seen.